right, so this is um, a review, first impression and review demo video of the new Yves Saint Laurent uh, YSL False Lash Effect Mascara. I believe this is a reformulated um, product because um, this mascara has been out for a while or a long time I guess um, so they recently reformulated this uh, mascara and uh, I was lucky enough to get picked um, to try this mascara from Influencer um, if you don't know about Influencer basically is a website where you can post reviews product reviews of you know different things doesn't matter makeup or household um, goods or even like places, restaurants, um, clubs or sports event or something like that. So basically it's kind of like a giant web um, company or website for reviews. Now the, also they gave out free products to try. Um, in that case you have to um, put up a you don't have to sign up and it's for f and you can sign up for free and once you sign up um, you know you the usual deal you have to uh, fill out your profile so you have to do a whole bunch of surveys um, so that way um, the comp you know the website or the company they know that you know what you're into generally what you're into since I did a lot of makeup related surveys they know that I'm into beauty stuff so this time they're giving out these um, YSL mascaras to try and uh, I received this. I haven't really got a chance to um, do the you know the video that's why I'm here today. Finally it's Saturday. Um, I uploaded a picture on Instagram so if you follow my Instagram you'll see that picture. So basically it comes in this little box. It says Yves Saint Laurent or here it says Influencer because Influencer is the company that's sending out these products for reviews and there is a YSL logo. So there's a card inside and Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne? Um, really really popular supermodel British it girl. Um, she's like everywhere. I'm like seeing her on every different campaign ads. She's like doing everything um, which is really cool and, and she's a Leo. I love that. Um, we're like both Leos so I totally get it, her goofy kind of wackiness because um, I do that all the time um, but I don't know, I think I'm more of like a dork um, you know, so but anyway, but anyway, that's like a side story so the poster looks really cool um, oh yeah, and then why so they came out with the new like eyeshadow palette I saw it on, I don't know, it's like a Nordstrom or website or Saks website but they have this uh, eyeshadow palette, I think it's about $95 something like that um, a lot of like smoky shades I think there are two of them one is neutral one is like cool tone smoky colors and then that's the mascara in the gold tube so um, I have the mascara but I have it in a navy blue color which I really like and I think it's waterproof as well so I have the old one here which is in this tube I, I can compare it for you yeah I think this is the Oh wait, this is the Everlong Mascara Waterproof. So maybe it's a bit different, but I'll show you the mascara in a second. But from the poster, you can see it's quite similar. It's like a round tube, a uh, gold tube. But this is the navy color. I really, really like it, and it's waterproof. Um, I'm trying to find like a cheaper dupe for this. It's pretty hard. So far, it's kind of hard to find a cheaper dupe of this mascara. So I might have to buy another tube but I've had this for quite a while and it still hasn't completely dried out so I'm still using it here and there I really like how it um, just gives my lash that really nice light like a navy blue tint like a blue tint so anyway this is the card with the poster and then the back also it says congratulations as a VIP you have been selected to try the original false lash effect mascara by YSL. Uh, the best gets even better. So that means that they reformulated it and they said that remaster formula emblematic false lash effect volume mascara now with an all new lash care formula. So when I guess they it says its secret is a triple intensity formula intense volume, intense color and now intense care. The nylon fiber brush coats each lash in deep color and maximum volume from root to tip while B5 Pro Vitamin strengthens and protects lashes. So 
I guess when they say that they reformulate it is because they add in some kind of beneficial ingredients to conditions and protect your lashes from like falling out because you know that we as we get older I mean you suppose lose your lashes your eyelashes and your hair uh, about a certain amount every day but um, the thing with newer uh, makeups nowadays is that to incorporate you know like skincare beneficial ingredients into makeup products so that while you're putting makeup on your face you're still you also kind of like um, taking care of your skin so back then you think about makeup it's like oh makeup is really harmful it clogs your pores and it just like um, ages a person um, and then the more makeup you wear or the earlier you start wearing makeup the older you you know the older and wrinklier worse the skin you get you know when you get older so um, I think it's really nice that companies are still you know are start doing these things on the case it says improved formula does not dry out I don't know how that works if a mascara doesn't dry out because when I use a mascara it's like when I know I'm almost done with the mascara is when it's like dry you know what I mean like when it's drying out I know that's like the last stretch of a mascara and that's when I toss it out even though they said with mascara you're supposed to replace it every three months I believe um, yeah I think with like mascara eyeliner stuff like that eye products you should toss out every three months um, I know we we don't really do that kind of stuff especially when it comes to luxurious luxury brand um, you know you don't really want to toss out something um, if you can still use it but um, if it's something good then you most likely use it every day and then that means you're gonna go through it pretty quickly so anyways um this is a tube that's what it looks like it feels um, it feels pretty much the same except that I think um, this one feels lighter this one I think I don't know this one feels like the packaging is a little bit heavier but it's um, a little bit sleeker than the one here I'm not sure if this is the same mascara I don't think so but just in general the YSL mascaras are in a golden tube I believe so this is the uh, this is the mascara volume effect false seals so it's the false lash effect mascara um, and I, I don't know if you can see it, but it seems like it's two-toned. It's more of like a yellowish gold on top and then more of a rose gold on the bottom. So that's like a little bit of touch. I personally, I don't know. I don't like it because I think that they're so similar in tones, but at the same time, they're a little bit different. I don't really care for that. Um, I don't mind having the entire same golden color or maybe entire same rose gold color. Um... I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this color-wise on the packaging. But then again, I don't really care about this because I usually apply mascara at home. Um, I just want something that works. You know, that gives me volume, gives me thickness, gives me length and the uh, separations without clumping and still natural looking at the same time. I know that's a lot to ask for, but believe in me, um, believe me, I found mascaras that can do all of that. Uh, low end and high end so that's why um, I don't know the retail price for this I think it's probably around the 20 to 30 dollar range usually high end mascara is about you know between 20 to 30 dollars so somewhere in between or maybe close to 30 dollars I'm not sure um, I'll list the price point down below in the information bar but this is what the tube looks like um, and this is I'm not sure what color this is, but I believe it's black. It's in number one, high density black. But anyways, I like round tube mascaras. I don't. I hate square tube mascaras. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Anything squarish that I have to twist to open, I like it to be round. It just feels nicer in the hands, and it just, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. That's my one pet peeve about packaging when it comes to twistable pack twistable products being round and not square you know. so this claims to be a really highly dense um, color formula um, it looks 
sort of glossy, but it's like a traditional bristle wand, which I prefer. I don't really like plastic wand that much. Usually <laughs> they're always a fail for me uh, when it comes to plastic um, bristles, except for the Physician Formula and the Buxom Lash Mascara. Or some of the, and, and some of the L'Oreal ones are good too. But usually I'm a traditional mascara wand girl. And this one is very straight. Um, this one actually reminds me of the Guerlain uh, Max Lash Effect or Max Lash Mascara that I really love in the Golden Tube. It does say that it doesn't dry out. I, and I curled my lashes earlier, so um, it's not super curled anymore, but we'll see. So let me just apply this. And I usually just apply one coat of mascara. I don't like to, um, you know, apply more coats. But I do spend a lot of time just um, coat each lashes with the first, with one single um, coat. Maybe I've been waving this um, in the air for too long because it's already kind of dry and it says it doesn't dry out so that's not true it, or it's already kind of dried up and it doesn't look super black to me it says it's high density black but it doesn't look super black um, I don't see any thickness as it claimed um, lens wise is kind of mediocre um, so I might have to apply another coat of this I think probably because I've been waving this wand for too long uh, in the open air that's why it's um, kind of dried up but it kind of just it shows you the claim that it says that it does not dry out it's not it's false how can a mascara not be dry out then you always use the same tube you never ever have to buy another one if you're not that concerned with hygienic um, thing, you know what I mean? So this is just one coat. I think it's horrible. Not horrible, but I just think that for a pricey mascara, this could do a lot better. Um, it does separate my lashes, so it's not clumpy. So let me just pull out again, dip it back in just to apply another coat since I think whatever on there was dried out. So this is second coat. As you can see, it instantly darkened up all my lashes. Um, it's quite dark. I think it's still not as dark as the Clinique High Impact mascara. I think that mascara is super dark. Um, but I don't know. Um, it's much better than the first coat. Like I said, it kind of dried out, so that's why um, it didn't go on so dark but this is two coats and it did not clump up yeah it's not that much of a length and it just gives a really natural look I think um, certainly doesn't look like a false slash effect kind of thing um, I've tried mascaras that really gives me that false slash effect even not even the fiber one I'm talking about this one's supposed to be fiber mascara so I assume that it's gonna come off like you know tubing mascara or whatever um, so it should be easy to remove when it comes to those fiber mascara um, but it doesn't have those little fibers you know glued it onto the wand so it doesn't flake or anything um, I don't know I think it's quite nice not sure if I can build a third coat I'm not sure if it's a good idea but I'm gonna do that anyway because the first coat doesn't really count I feel like I just want to see if it's gonna clump up so even with third coat uh, my lashes are not being clumped together as you can see and this does have a light scent very similar to um, it's very similar to the Guerlain one it also has a really light kind of like fragrance I don't know why they do that in the mascara um, but I often like to 
smell mascaras anyways. A lot of them smell like alcohol. This one is just a lot stronger than the Guerlain one. The Guerlain one has more of a very faint light uh, fragrance scent. This smells a lot stronger. I mean, I don't hate this type of perfume scent. and But I just feel like it doesn't really need it. Uh, yeah, this is my YSL review. Um, like I said, it has a much stronger fragrance scent. So if you don't like scented products, especially something near your eyes, avoid this. Um, it is a really nice sleek packaging. It is it is a high-end, luxurious um, beauty product. Am I wowed about it? Not really. I guess it's okay. I just don't like keep building up layers of mascaras uh, when I can have one that I can achieve the same thing with just single coat. So I'm not so thrilled about this, um, but I have to see in the long run if it really conditions um, and protects my eyelashes because it says it has a pro vitamin B5 inside. Um, you know, I guess that I have to tell in the long run. I won't be able to tell you in the first impression videos. Um, but I will put a blog post and I will write more extensively about this and I'll insert close-up pictures about this product as well and I'll give you more a little bit more information on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.